What is going on everyone? Commodore Last here, bringing you guys my reaction slash review of Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 263. Now, the chapter is out. We are here today to sit down and read the latest installments of Akutama Gege's masterpiece provided to us by the good people at TCB. Now, the time has come. Chapter's been out for a few hours. I'm up early in the morning, ready to start the day off. And hopefully, 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 some good stuff will come my way at long last. Because I'm not going to lie. When we got that 262 part 2 and all that, right? And we saw what was going on, you know, where we left off. And where things were going in the direction of things, right? I'm like, man, the time limit and everything for a cold suit. It's like, you know, it looks, looks dire, right? Until we got the moment. That I was... I didn't think could happen. Because we haven't seen much of him throughout the arc. It really... For a good portion of the series now, since the events of Shibuya. But shout out to the man with the recorder. Shout out to the man whose voice commands respect. It demands respect. It expects respect. Inumaki coming through. Don't move. Hit him with that don't move. I don't care if it's a second, three seconds, five, ten seconds. It don't matter. Sukuna froze. Blood been frozen for however how long. And a hollow purple is getting ready to be directed at his dome. So, Okotsu, the time is now, man. If there was ever a time. And if not, we all know who will finish the story. But we need to get something off of Sukuna right now. And the only way I know that is by reading the chapter. So here we go. Let's get into it, man. Chapter 263. And the advertisements are as strong as ever been before. So let me close some of these things here so we don't get uh, hit with something wild. All right. So you see the uh, domain itself right there looks like an explosion. from has to be from the Hollow Purple for sure. It has to be from the Hollow Purple since that's the last thing we remember seeing uh, from the last chapter. Okozu versus Sukuna. The small barrier ruptures. Yeah, so the, uh, that of Sukuna is being destroyed right there. And you see explosions, just the debris and everything that's there. From the destruction of it. Just look, just look at how much damage has gone throughout this entire area, man. Like, like I don't know how Japan is ever going to be the same again after these events. Like, it's going to take a long period of time just to revitalize the country into some decent form. It's never going to be like... I mean, it could be. Like, many, 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 many years later and all that. But as in terms of right now, it's going to go through a lot of healing to even get back to some form of normality. Okay, so you see the destruction there, you see the foot, and Sukuna actually tanked it. Oh god, of course he did. He, of course he did. He pulled it off. As powerful as purple may be, he's still not fully comfortable using it. And uh, that was the thing we had to understand. That because Okoso, even though he's in Gojo's body, taking over and everything, doesn't mean that he's capable of using the full like artillery. That Gojo possesses. We know that a month was not going to be enough, you know, or just whatever time it was there. That's something that you either, when you're born with it, you got it. Otherwise, you have had ample time in the hyperbolic time chamber just to be able to pull this off. So, it was always a possibility that was going to happen for him. And that is the case right there. But he did get a, a bit of damage on to uh, Sukuna. So, that's good to see. Even his own domain's barrier was destroyed. Okay, no, so I made a mistake there. So, yeah, it was... Um, uh, Occult Sue's barrier that ended up getting destroyed instead. Because I figured that they were still like within the like the Marlowe Shrine itself, but no. And <laughs> oh my god, thank god I didn't put them away completely. But listen, we got let me 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 share. Let me share. For Aoi Toto, you get a title. For you to Okotsu. You get a title, but the world championship right here goes to the boy right there on the right side of the battle, baby. Let's go. Come on, man. Three on one. Listen, we've been fighting a handicap match our entire lives. You know what the handicap match is? It's called Sukuna, Kenjaku, and Gege against everybody, bro. That is a handicap match, right? They come bursting out afterwards from the debris. Okotsu. Doesn't matter if we're caught in the crossfire. 
The second your technique recovers, drill as many purples into him as you can. We'll avoid it using my boogie woogie. Oh my god. And there's the thing, bro. I almost forgot about it too, bro. I absolutely adore this new version of boogie woogie. I've said it enough when it happens, when we got to see it all over again. But this right here, like you have to go to the extreme of extremes if it means to beat Sakura like this. And even if not, I don't know how, but this is the chance right here. Immediately after the use of Domain Expansion, Ryoma Sakuna has once again fallen into a state in which his curse technique is painstakingly difficult to use. Meanwhile... No, 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 he dropped, he dropped, no, 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 no. Kenjaku's curse technique copied by Koto is also burned out after Oh no, so yeah, the time limit Before the five minutes had passed the use of Kenjaku's technique was halted. Oh no, he's finito Damn it. Rika-chan not haunting this body means copy is no longer mine making limitless the burns out technique I thought I would still be able to use Kenjaku's was there some trick behind Kenjaku being able to use the technique immediately following a domain expansion? I didn't take any information like that in when I copied his technique. I'll at least maintain the barrier for their sake. And then you see from a total's perspective there, he's reached his limit. Oh no, man. Oh no, man. No, Kotsu, bro, please. Even if, oh man, they gotta find a way, bro. They gotta find a way. They have to find a way, bro. You gotta find a way to save him, man. There ain't no way he has to go like that. He can't go all like this, man. No chance. I guess that's why they call him the king of... Cur oh, no, she's talking more on perspective there for, for freaking uh, Sukuna. Oh, but I'm worried about more with Okotsu, man. I guess that's why they call him the king of curses. Even in a situation like this, his offense doesn't let up. Here I am, distracted by Okotsu. He won't let that opening slide. And he comes in and lands. Black Flash, but the guard comes up right there from Toto. And it looks, okay, so after he goes this way, you see Yuji coming from the other side, and his, his demonic eye just come, immediately sees Boogie Woogie activate. Boogie Woogie activate. And he's coming from the other side now. Please, you have to brain him. You have to brain him. You have to brain him. Way to make us wait. I've not done hogging the spotlight just yet. Wait, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Whoa, bro, where, where, where's the shaker? Where's the clapper? Where's the clap? Where the clapper go? It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter where the clapper went, bro. Cause the clapper's here, bro. Clapper just came in. Bang! Bang! Hits him right in the face. You see the blood. You see the turn of the neck. A code to that bundled cur of cursed energy. That bundle of cursed energy. He still has shards of the barrier floating around. Oh, mate. <sighs> yeah, man. Until these shards disappear, there's no greater stage on which Boogie Woogie can shine. So, it's that is actually insane. If that's what you're telling me, is that even though the barrier itself is broken, right? And again, this could be in the most, like, basic state that a domain expansion could be in, right? Or at least the barrier, in a sense. That as long as those pieces are still intact, even if it's, like, it could be just taken out like that, the effect, the usage of it can still be applied, that is insane. Like, we will take that gladly, man. Because you know what? It could have worked the other way, possibly, for Sukuna, Kenjaku, and all the mandems afterwards, right? If they had gotten used to something like that, that would be crazy. And then you see Toto. Yo, Toto lost the clapper. He became the clapper. He just started banging up his head afterwards instead. So that if that's how he's going to use Boogie Woogie, fair enough, bro. Fair enough. I mean, again, he's trying to keep the, uh, the right hand... Uh, for any other use what he needs, which is, of course, punching the dude in the face. Oh, my God! Look at this! Please tell me, bro. Please tell me now, nah, man. You gotta come out, too. You gotta pop out and show him. Pop out and show him, even if it don't might break it. Even though we can break it. You better pop out and show. You better pop out and show. Oh, wait. Oh, man, please, this has to be, bro. Give me all my bells, bro. Give me all my bells, bro. This is where the quad comes in, man. 
This is what it means right here, bro. You see this double spread, and he he's just he's ready. He's ready to go. He is so ready to lace this dude into oblivion with the black flashes. That just we don't even put up a number, bro. Just give him the infinity symbol and just put him down, man. Put him down right here. He is spinning circles around him. And then you see Toto looks like he's biting onto oh, wait, he oh he found the clapper. Okay, so he okay, so I okay, he figured he found it. I think he's able to slide it back onto like his hand. But then you see Yuji comes in and he palms. Hold on. He palms the midsection like over here of Sukuna. And Sukuna even though he's like, what? Like you can see right there on like on the back of his face right there. I'll do it as many times as it takes. Wake up, Fushiguro. Dismantle. Oh, yeah, no. Because we know the twin. We know twenty. We know twenty's up in there, bro. We know twenty's up in there. He goes and hits a dismantle. And you see Sakuna's entire body is just, 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 just going through it, bro. Literally, this is Zoro going through the moment with Kuma and Thriller Bark. This is literally that right now on the extremest of levels. Because we know what this mantle is capable of. So imagine what it's doing right now to him. Any other person is getting eviscerated. Any other person is getting dismantled literally and figuratively right here and now. He's, he's selectively choosing the target of his technique. He's firing dismantle after dismantle directly at the barrier between mine and Fushi Girl Megumi's soul. Come on, Yuji! Free the boy! He's made a binding vow to make his strikes more effective at tearing at my soul from this body. If I continue taking these blows, yeah, then you're finished. You're finished. You have to hold that. I have been waiting 263 chapters to get you out the paint. We are getting you out the paint. And he... he blah, what did you blah? What did you blah? What did you blah? What the hell is that? Is it the finger? No chance he got 20. No chance that's the last one. No chance that's the last player. I won't be able to maintain this body. And I'll lose. However. No, 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 no. How did he get it? He spit out 20. Oh, no, no, no. That was the one that he took from before, I think, right? And that was coming out of him. So that would have... That little, okay. That's way to look at this in terms of example. I would have to believe, unless you want to clarify that in the comments, okay? Because right now my brain is so focused on the action at hand. This is perfect form cell reverting almost back into second form cell into uh, imperfect one, right? Almost, right? Because the th finger that came out, so he's going to lose a bit and he gained it back right there, okay? So he gains it back. He flips right back afterwards up to the um, part of the little structure over here. And oh my God, I look, bro, that battle is so sick. You see, Yuji. Hand on the wall and the scissors and the lines of cut bro nah man this dude right here is moving like Shiki Tono and Sukime man. Like we know that Gege is an enjoyer of the Nasu verse of Type Moon when it comes to Fade, Tsukihime, uh like you know, just all the other Witch of the Holy Knight and everything, right? That the lines of depth perception, bro, like it is about to load into Sakuna, man. You see, he goes back up. Yuji immediately gets right afterwards with the left. Gets hulked up. You see the switch right there. So that means he moves in action. And he goes for the strike. But it looks like Sukuna was able to dodge out right there. And he just hits Yuji. Bang. Blasts him right into the freaking back of the wall. If I simply avoid those blows, they'll have no other moves as effective. If my spare of Vibra Slap isn't recognized as my left hand, it won't function just one more time. Oh my god, take this. Take this, please. Please. You have to give me this. I'll get the two in this day, bro. No, bro. You don't need to cheer. You don't need to cheer for this, bro. You see my dog, he's right here, he's ready to go. And the other one right there, just, you know, stand stuff right here like he's in Tekken. But it don't matter, man. It don't matter, man. We know what's gonna happen here, bro. Yuji, it's your time. It is your time, bro. There was no swap. But, but I see the clapper. I see the clapper. Is it gonna work this time? Is it gonna work this time? Please, man. You need to do this. Even if it doesn't clap, you need to clap him.
Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even take in the clock that she was back. Oh my god. I thought she was still resting. Oh my god. Oh my god. This dub. It has to be. Jacob's ladder. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Hannah. 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 This is your time right here. This bang. Mike Breen. He's loading. Come on. He looks up. He's like, Mazaka. Look at that thing. Bro. Here we go. The horn. Through the use of a binding vow, the range of Toto's technique had been extended. Our role ends once I dispel Gojo Satoru's seal. What about Megumi? What will happen to him? Angel, Kurusu san, I'm sorry, but we may have to rely on you in the end. Just as I said earlier, it's perfectly fine for you to stay out of the battle. Even if my domain is destroyed, we'll make sure there is no need for you to fight. I'd like for you to fire Jacob's Ladder as the finishing blow. We'll take an all or nothing gamble once more and attempt to split Sakuna and Fushiguro's Kun souls. At the very end, we'll make the most of a strong point of my copy technique. A strong point. When dealing with my copy, no one thinks of the original user of the copy technique. For whatever reason, all they think about is what, is what and how many techniques I have in my stock. They don't stop to think of the possibility of the original user with the same technique appearing. Especially for those who know how copy works, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking it as me taking the technique instead of copying it. The true strength of copy is having two of the same card in our hands. Oh my god, this boy. Yo, know, this boy, bro. The IQ genius. Now I need a chair. Otherwise, my knees are going to give. Oh my god. This has to be the chance ball, right? This has to be Giga. This has to be the chance ball. Please. He looks up. Maximum output. Jacob's ladder and that thing boosts hits the ground at the 11th hour they play their trump card where will this battle to the death go next break next week yo yo get, get, yo you can't do that bro you can't do that bro you can't do that bro you cannot do that to me bro you can't do that to me bro you can't do that to me bro you can't do that to me, Gege. Oh my god. Oh no, mate. Saguna's gonna find a way out of this. And then freaking how they gonna get freaking off. Oh my god. How do I know the script for the next chapter? And I haven't even read it. This hope. Oh mate. Maybe. That brother got himself the save of the lifetime. He said break next week because he knew that if he just said, no, we're going to get next chapter, it's Owarita. But I am going to save Sukuna one last time to make me suffer, to make you suffer, to make all of us suffer. For what? 263 chapters of pain. There's been peak in the middle, I agree. But there's been pain. I will never be free from my pain until Yuji actually cleans the head off of that demon that is Sukuna. That's literally the only way, man. Because everything else right here, it's like you get closer and closer and closer. It's like that dude with the, like hitting the mine and stuff, trying to get to the diamonds. And just when he's at the last little, like, the, the drywall of it, he just says, nah, man, I'm done. I'm finished. It's, it's, it's over, bro. We were right there on the cusp. And now I know what the script is going to be, man. 264. I already see it, man. That dude is somehow going to survive it. He's going to come from behind. He's going to either choke the life out of Hana or just blam right through the chest and it's over. Like, when you say something like, where will this battle to the death go next? You know what's going to happen next. We got to find a way. You got to find a way. Like, we got to find a way. Yuji, Yuta, Toto. We got to find a way. 
Because this right here, this is the biggest save you could have easily given Sukuna after that ban. I want to be happy. I want to be excited. But like when you hit me with something like this, I already know what's happening after, man. But what a freaking chop this was. And like, just just the thinking process of it, man. Because I love when I just hear from people saying that Gege either doesn't know what he's doing anymore or he's just throwing a bunch of stuff in there. And it's like, dude, he, he clearly is not trying to say something off rip. So that it's like the whole point of it is that we're building blocks. We can allow other series out there to have building blocks, especially those that have been out for 25 plus years, right? As much as I love the series, but we can't do this for series that are way underneath that margin of numbers. Like, I, I don't get it, right? But they clearly go and tell you, like, the whole things of what's going on and why things are working out the way they're working out. You know, I'm sad my favorite characters are, are in the grave. I am. And I'm hoping one of them is not being confirmed through a freaking art exhibit. I hope not. Because, Gege, we will fight. <laughs> we will fight. I don't, I, we will scrap. The Rapunky Hills, I know them ends. I will be there no matter what. So that better not be true. But, again, this series, there was never happiness. To get to happiness, you have to go through all the pain. And I've stuck around this long that I will get my happy ending. I will will it into existence. Even if they tell me the percentage chance of that is 0 0.0000001, I will be the one that gets that happiness. And I will do it no matter what. So whatever pain has to come my way, we're going to tank it. I may be sad right now. But somehow, some way, someday, I will smile again. But my God, dude, the thinking like of this, dude, like the even without the clapper, he still found ways with Toto. And the fact that they use this mantle in the cases they're trying to separate the soul of Megumi and Sukuna, as smart as it was, and he was able to back his way out of there. But the whole Joker process of how exactly he th uses copy, I mean. Uncle 2 is just that guy, man. I uh, just as simple as that. Top five, top three, top two forever, bro. Like that that dude is the truth, man. That is my son. And he has to survive. Somehow, some way, you need to survive. But guys, I'm very curious to know what you think down in the comments below. Getting hit right here. Hana coming through with the Jacob's ladder. Does this mean that we have a chance there of being Sukuna? Or was getting hit with the break and being asked where things will go next is the obvious indicator that Sukuna not only survives this, but we are going to get hit with the ultimate sadness possibly when we come back after the break week. Like, how do you envision things transpiring from here and where do they go? Let me know down in the comments below. Any clarifications, any input, anything you want to add about the chapter you felt was important, you want to talk about, especially things that may have gotten mixed up on details or whatever it is. Please let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel because you're new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience, when it comes to my coverage of Jujutsu Kaisen week in, week out, the time is now, man. I don't know how much longer we have left. If it is true that this is the last year of the series, maybe it gets extended to next year based on the way, you know, where we are right now in terms of the month and the week and the day and all that. It don't matter, right? It don't matter. If you want to be a part of the weekly experience of what should be the final stages possibly of the series, and you don't want to miss a single day, a moment of me talking about it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandora to stay up to date with everything goes on the channel. With that being said, I am going to ease my mind and relax it as much as possible. And hope and think happy thoughts, possibly. That maybe when we come back in 264, maybe there's a chance ball. But otherwise, I'm preparing myself for the inevitable sadness. If it could come in the form of Hana getting smoked after this. It could come in the form of... You know, a cold suit possibly. I don't know. But just as we have for 263 chapters, we have persevered. And no matter what pain awaits, we will survive for that happy ending. Commodore last signing off. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy.